Never have I felt that I could be all that you see. It's like our hearts have been. I, I'm absolutely crazy about you. I, I love you more than anything in this world. I'm truly honored to be able to call you my wife. And um, I cherish each and every day that I have with you. Uh, to think that looking back, our first date, the first time we met, to think that it, it would culminate in us being married, Mr. and Mrs. Apio Poku. It's just, um, it's a blessing, it's truly a blessing. And, and I thank God every day um, for you. I know that you are gonna be a, a wonderful wife. And I know that you are uh, my better half. And I can't wait to, to experience um, parenthood with you. I actually met Pam online. Pam's picture and profile popped up. And I did a double take. I was like, whoa. She had just the most beautiful smile. Big old eyes. <laughs> but there was just something about her. Um, obviously, she was a very, very beautiful um, woman. And so I was like, OK, let me, let me read, read more on this profile. This guy, and I think his name was like, on there was like Chelsinski. I still don't know what it meant. It had something to do with Chelsea. I reached out to her. I sent her a message and I was nervous. I was like, okay, he's kind of cute. So I messaged him and he's like, oh, I messaged you a few months ago. I'm like, oh, really? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know. I'm sorry. I would have messaged back had I seen that you messaged me. We exchanged numbers and um, we, I remember texting texting her um, and we texted back and forth for a little while and then she told me she was actually this was around this was around Thanksgiving she was actually coming back from home so um, he called and the ride is like almost four hours two and a half three hours um, so we talked the whole way back and then after that I was like we can meet up whenever you like I'm free now if you want I'm like I just put myself really out there I was like oh god I hope I don't seem desperate but I learned more about her and so that was the the beginnings of something very special. I like Chipotle, I still do. So <laughs> it was a nice first date, but so, hey, this is this is a good sign, you know, because um obviously she's she's serious because she could have asked us to go to True Lux and get hundred dollar steaks and you know. So yeah, first date was actually at Chipotle. I don't know when I knew that he was gonna be my husband. Um but I knew as soon as, like basically as soon as I met him, I knew that I was like, okay, like you're gonna be my boyfriend. I knew that immediately. And um, after that, shortly after that, I guess, he would say, he's like, well, you need to slow down, Pam. I'm like, no, I know, I know. Probably like three or four months in, I was like, okay, I think that you're the one. And I don't know if it was crazy that I verbalized that, <laughs> but, <laughs> I told him, so, yeah. Something that, that told me deep in my heart that, you know what, this, this might be the, the lady for you, Fred. I had been waiting, like, waiting. It happened so, I thought it was gonna happen before. Um, he got a ring box in the mail. I'm like, oh my God, did my engagement ring just come in the mailbox? So I was like, oh my gosh, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. And he's like, do you really think that that's how I would um, propose? And I'm like, I mean, I don't know, it would definitely be a surprise. I wanted her to be special and I wanted her family to be involved as well. Um, and so what we came up with was we would get uh, her niece's special custom-made shirts. Um, the front of the shirts would say, 
T.T. Pam, the back would say, well, you marry Fred. Uh, we got Pam's little puppy, I believe it said, marry Fred, question mark. With shirts that say, T.T., will you marry Fred? And then my little puppy, he came out with a little tag that said, will you marry Fred on it? And I was like, oh my gosh, I picked up the dog. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so that, it was really a big surprise. Like, and it was really nice because I always told him that whenever he proposed, I wanted to have my family there and like everyone involved and he like nailed it. So it was great. I've been engaged for a year and a half. So you know it's coming. Pam is, of course, excited. She has an app on her phone that tells her how many seconds left until the day, how many, you know, and she would show me every few days, only, only 400 days left, babe. Only 360 days. And I'd just be like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. It didn't really hit me until the night before. <laughs> That's when I was like, oh my goodness, this is about to happen. I'm about to marry, you know, the woman of, of my dreams my partner in crime, my best friend. I cleaned up everything as soon as I got home and then just went to sleep. Um, Fred went out with his friends. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna wait out. I'm gonna try to let them have fun and not be like hovering helicopter. So yeah, they all went out and I guess had his one night bachelor party and I just went home and went to sleep. <laughs> I didn't sleep that well like I usually sleep, but uh, honestly, if I hadn't slept, that would have been perfectly okay, I think, because I was just a bit nervous. And I didn't see Fred at all until wedding day when I walked down the aisle. I hadn't seen him at all. Um, the morning of, I hear like someone knocking on one of the bedroom doors. I'm like, what, you know you can't see me. He's like, can I just come out and say hi? I'm like, no, you have to wait, you have to wait. But yeah, we didn't see each other at all, which is like very rare. We are never separated like that. Never have I felt that I could be all that you see. It's like our hearts have intertwined into the perfect harmony. This is why I love you. Um, my love letter to Fred would just be um, no words, no vows could ever um, describe how much I love you and how much I'll always love you. You're the perfect guy for me. Um, I'm so glad that we've met and I can't wait for our future together and all of our babies and just everything that's to come. You're just the perfect guy of my dreams. <laughs> I'm so happy that you were, you were willing to take, take me as your husband, you know. Thank you for being my best friend. Um, thank you for taking my uh, hyphenated last name, Apio Poku. <laughs> um, and I cannot wait to, um, to, to our future. I, can, I cannot wait to see what we become each day. Uh, I know it's a process. where you'll stay. This is why I love you. Ooh, this is why I love you. doors opened and I saw Pam for the first time that day because we hadn't seen each other. I wanted to see her earlier on but she said no it's bad luck. <laughs> You're not supposed to see your bride. So that was the first time I had seen her. That was the first time I had seen her her dress. I thought she was 
I already knew she was the most beautiful woman in the world, but man, it I had never seen Pam that beautiful. She had this like glitter all over her like neck and she was just is it, it was as if there was a light, a spotlight shining on her. I know I just know Fred's gonna cry. Fred's gonna cry. I'm like, well we made it down, okay, he didn't cry, so we're clear. Fred, I'm telling you, man, when that moment comes, you're gonna start crying. You're gonna start crying. Take this Kleenex. Uh, just just in case you start tearing up and of course like, come on. I was like come on guys. That's not gonna happen I, I know I'm gonna be a little bit emotional, but me cry. Come on, man. It's just a it's a wedding As long as we both show I'm like, okay, my makeup, thank you very much. Like, we've made it this far. Now my makeup's about to get messed up because you couldn't control yourself. But <laughs> um, when he started crying, I just, I'm like, okay, this is real. Like, he's crying because he's he means what he's saying. So, like, it just warmed my heart when he started crying. But when the pastor, you know, had me repeat the vows, I felt the weight of those vows, the heaviness and the significance of those words hit me, you know? And so I started, I got a little bit choked up and there might've been some dirt in my eye as well. So the combination of the two, next thing you know, I'm bawling. To be my husband. To be my husband. My constant friend. My constant friend. And my faithful partner in life. Just planning the wedding, everyone said, like, make sure you just take it all in because it's going to go by so fast. I'm like, I just want to focus and just enjoy this moment because it's never going to happen again. And just take it all in. <laughs> what is today, Fred? What's the date? My wedding day. That's right. <laughs> Right. Don't forget, don't forget the 16th. This is the day you've got to remember for the rest of your life. The golden circle is a symbol of completeness, and it's the emblem of eternity. And really, it's the essence of wedded love. It's made of pure gold to symbolize a pure love. It's an unbroken circle to symbolize an unending love. So wherever you are, whenever you look at your wedding rings, let it remind you of this holy moment where your lives and your hearts were united as one. Well. Fred, would you please take this ring and place it on your bride's ring finger? And one more time, would you repeat after me? I, Fred, I, Fred, happily take you, Pamela, happily take you, Pamela, to be my wife, to be my wife, to share the good times, to share the good times, and the hard times, and the hard times, side by side, side by side. I humbly give you my hand, I humbly give you my hand, and my heart, and my heart, as I pledge my faith. That's my faith and love to you and love to you. Just as this ring, just as this ring is a circle without end, is a circle without end. My love for you will not end. With all that I am, and all that I have, all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. Thank you. Pamela, what token do you bring? Hard times. And hard times. Side by side. Side by side. I humbly give you my hand. I humbly give you my hand. And my heart. And my heart. As I pledge my faith. As I pledge my faith. And love to you. And love to you. Just as this ring. Just as this ring. Is a circle without end. Is a circle without end. My love for you. My love for you. Will not end. Will not end. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Be all that you see. It's like our hearts have intertwined into the perfect harmony. This is why I love you. By the power vested in me by the state of Texas, 
I consider it a privilege, and may I add today, a very high honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. No longer two, but one. Fred, is there anything else you want to throw in there before? <laughs> Fred, you may now kiss your bride. Yes. Yes. This is my life. Ooh, this is my life. Because you love me. You love me. I found love. Just in life, in you're you. just a motivator and. I love you for that. I found love in you. You're just a great man and you're I'm glad that you're leading our family and you're just you're so smart. You have a good head on your shoulders, like you're like you have a financial brain and like a, a godly brain. So I'm just happy that you're the one for me and that you're heading our household. Pam, I, I'm absolutely crazy about you. I, I love you more than anything in this world. I'm truly honored to be able to call you my wife and um, I cherish each and every day uh, that I have with you uh, to think that looking back our first date the first time we met to think that it, it would culminate in us being married Mr. and Mrs. Apio Poku it's just um, it's a blessing it's truly a blessing and, and I thank God every day um, for you. I know that you are going to be a, a wonderful wife and I know that you are uh, my better half and I can't wait to, to experience um, parenthood with you. I can't wait for us to travel the world, to grow older and I pray for you every day and uh, I, I, I know that the best times are ahead for us. Um, I also know, and we also know, that not every day is gonna be uh, rainbows and flowers, but the love that we have for each other, I think is gonna trump anything, any adversity we have. And so, thank you so, so much um, for, for taking my hand and agreeing to, to, to journey with me through life. Um, I love you, and I will always put you above anything um, in this world. first met Pam and he called me one night 
I was like, oh, who is this? Man, I got to eat about this girl out there. I was like, what girl? <laughs> and he was like, her name's Pam. Makes my heart skip a beat. <laughs> And every day he would call me and talk about Pam and tell me what they did. And I told him, I said, man, sounds like y'all making some shake. And little did I know this would be the outcome. And so I just want to say to Pam, you have one of the best people that I have ever met in my life. And it is an honor and a privilege for him to be with you and for you to be with him. And I want to say thank you both for letting me be a part of this. Congratulations, and I'm happy for you both. I'm friends, mother, as you can tell, got the same nose, the same mouth, and everything. <laughs> Fred was, um, is the first one I was born. Um, Africa, we say, he opened my womb. Oh. He's the first one, and we have loved him from the very day that he was born. He was different. We could talk about children having tantrums and all of that. Fred was never like that. From the day he was born, he was just quiet, calm, respectful as he was growing. He was always a child who can come on. There were days we had our troubles like all families, but Fred never gave up. He was always willing to do what it takes to get the job done. And that's the son that God has helped us to raise. My husband, myself, and my children, we all look to Fred and we want to be like Fred. They want to be like Fred. He taught us so much growing up. Life has not been easy, especially for the fact that he was born in Africa. And then stayed with his grandmother while the parents went to Canada. And then he came to join us in Canada. He had to start it all over again, learn to speak English and do things different because he was raised in Africa. But Fred never lost hope. He kept on trying, kept on trying. In high school, it was difficult because we moved so many times, so he has to start it all over again, but he never quit. And I know this marriage here is going to last because Fred is not going to quit. He's not a quitter. He's one person that loves the Lord, and that's the only reason why I'm telling you that this marriage is not going to be like what we hear about American marriages. Every time you turn around, somebody's marriage is like one week old and it's gone. Yes. Where his marriage is saying, Pam, you are my daughter. I don't even call you. <laughs> I don't call you. I'm my cutting daughter. onions. <laughs> daughter in law, you are my daughter. And I know with you and Fred together, there is no mountain that you cannot move. As long as you have Christ Jesus, at the center of your marriage, there is no mountain that you cannot move. It takes love for somebody that was raised in Africa to fall in love with somebody that was raised in, I mean, somebody that was raised in America to fall in love with somebody that was raised in Africa. Shame on. <laughs> it takes love because of cultural differences. You have to learn more. You have to learn to eat some things you've never had before. You have to do something different. But Pam is willing to try hard, and that is love. So I pray over this marriage. I did it before, and I will pray. I prayed for Fred even before he was born, and I pray every night for him and for all my children. Amen. And now you are part of us. So I don't leave you out. I pray for you, even now for the grandchildren that the Lord is blessing you. <laughs> well, I'm Eric Diamond, and I'm Pam's dad. A little bit about Pam. I met Pam August 17, 1990. And she's proven to be a joy. To me and her mother, her grandmothers. A little bit more about Pam. Pam's always said, because I want to. And she was <laughs> old. I said, Pam, why you do that? Because I want to. <laughs> Sam's not marrying Fred today, because I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy to have you part of the family. 
Welcome to Team Johnson. And I was now Johnson, Apioko, Apuku. <laughs> Fred, hey, man. Take care, my baby. You guys ready to get up and dance? Yeah. Uh, that's more like it. Let's go.
now. I need all my eligible bachelors. I need all my fellas out here right now. I need all my fellas out here. Fred, if you see them, point them out, call them out. I need to get out here. Yeah, I'm gonna have you stand right here, Fred. I know the gentleman back here for me. Gentlemen, where you at? Is that it, Fred? You got all of them? Who, who are they? What's the name? Who, who is it? Are they good? All right, that's it. All right, Fred, let me get you right here. You're gonna throw that back at these guys. Let's see who gets that real quick. On count of three, Fred. One, two, three. That's why I love 